So today we've got a really interesting video for you. We are partnered up with Jägermeister to take part in the Deer and Beer campaign. And basically what that is, is Jägermeister asked us to pair Jägermeister with different beers. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel for a while, then you will know that I am a huge fan of Jägermeister because I'm a huge fan of Amaro and Jägermeister is basically German Amaro. It has 56 different botanicals and uh, it is fantastic served cold. Um, and so I thought, why not do this? It's gonna say, it sounds like a lot of fun and you know, craft beer is meticulously crafted because it's, well, I mean, that's why it's called craft beer. And Jägermeister is meticulously crafted. Uh, and so I thought that would be like a really fun pairing. So I got a bunch of my favorite beers and uh, paired them up with uh, Jaeger. And I'm gonna talk to the flavor profiles today and show you guys how versatile Jaeger is, how many different beers and how many, not only different beers, but different styles of beer Jägermeister pairs with. Uh, a lot of people ask me like, when you go to a bar, what cocktail do you drink? And the thing is, is that I don't always drink cocktails. I do like drinking cocktails, obviously. I have this show, but uh, I don't always drink cocktails. Sometimes I just wanna have something very simple, like a short pour of Amaro uh, or whiskey or something and a beer. And if I can have a really nice ice cold shot of Jaeger to go with my favorite beer, I'm gonna do that. So let's get into it. Let's taste some of these beers and let's figure out how well they pair with Jaeger and which and which flavors get brought out by what. That's what I think is gonna be really fun about this video. Let's get into it. So first beer we're gonna be tasting with our little mini Jaeger is Hazy Little Thing IPA from Sierra Nevada. Uh, this is a unfiltered IPA. They basically took this out of the tank, put it into a can and then put it in the store for you. Um, and I think that this is, All right, now with Jaeger. Ooh, oh my God, that's really good. So the Jaeger complements this beer in such an interesting way, but you know, the Jaeger actually amplifies the fruit kind of forwardness of this. It's really funny because you would think that the Jaeger would actually amplify the hops, but it actually amplifies the, the kind of that kind of creamy tangerine sort of taste to it. Um, and it doesn't blow it out, which is really interesting too, because this is a very specific flavor and it's also very, uh, it's a very strong flavor, right? It's got, it's sort of like sweet and then it has sort of this kind of anise kind of to it and almost a cinnamon kind of vibe. Mind you, I don't know what all goes in Jägermeister, but taste that with your beer. And it's nice, it's like, it's like the hops almost it almost combines perfectly with the Jaeger. And I don't want to say it gets lost in there, but the Jaeger really amplifies the fruit content of the beer. So there you have it. That right there is a fantastic pairing for your hazy little thing IPA and our Jaeger. Let's get the next beer up. Next beer up is Anchor Steam. Very rich in flavor, thick and creamy. It's kind of a no brainer for our Jägermeister here. So let's give the, the beer a taste first. Really, it's very creamy. It's got kind of like a nice, kind of like, like it's like a rich, kind of a rich, sort of sharp feel on the tongue and you got nice hops right in the middle of your palate. This one's gonna go good. All right, let's see how the Jaeger combines. All right, so beer first. Jaeger. Whoa, it's, I mean, it's so surprising that like, the Jaeger goes with so many different, I mean, the whole point of this video was that Jaeger goes with this with so many different beers and I can't, it, it just. Blows your mind. I, it just never ceases to amaze me. So what's great about this is that the Jaeger brings out the sharpness in flavor of this, but also, you know, you still, you're gonna still sort of taste that. It's got a very dry mouthfeel. And what's funny is that when you take the Jaeger, it kind of builds up that like, it almost kind of builds up the beer into this like, it's very sharp on the front end and then very like, not very sweet, but sort of like sweet and bitter on the back end. And it kind of adds that sort of cinnamon note to it, which is really, really nice. Again, a really, really nice pairing. This is definitely something that I could like drink. I'm be super stoked by. So there it is, Jägermeister 
and Anchor Steam. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10, and I give the last one a 10 out of 10 as well. All right, this one's kind of stretching it a little bit. I decided to pick up this uh, Fruitlands Mai Tai Edition Modern Times beer. It's gonna be really sa sour and sort of salty on the finish with a lot of fruit. Um, and we're gonna pair that with Jägermeister and see if we can't trick the old Jäger. Let's see. Let's crack our little mini Jäger here. All right, here we go. It's like a, a sour, basically. It's like a very tart sort of pineapple, lime, a little orange, maybe. Yep. Okay. It's good. I like it. I mean, for people who like sours, they're going to like this. Let's see what the Jaeger does with it. I'm going get to get it on my palate a little more. Yeah, it kind of amplifies the fruit flavor a bit. And I mean, it's, it's I don't know. I, I mean, there's 56 different botanicals in here. Of course, it's going to pair well with something that also has, you know, botanical elements and kind of dryness. But what's really nice is that it's very complimentary because the Jägermeister is like a little bit sweet, a little bit bitter. It's got that cinnamon vibe on the finish. And then it's just like, you know, and then it, for this, you're kind of bringing in that sort of dry and sour fruit a little bit of saline right on the finish as well. And so it's almost like it's one part of a meal. And then the next part of the meal that sort of rounds out the flavor profile. But what's really nice is that you get the lingering fruit from this kind of through the Jaeger as you drink that little bit of Jaeger on the uh, back end of it, which is really, really nice, impressive. Again, three for three. These are really, really good pairings. I'm beginning to think that there is no beer yeah, Jägermeister doesn't pair well with. I think it pairs well with all beer because, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it's, all of these have been great. So now let's get on to the next one. So for our last beer, I decided to go a completely separate route. I picked uh, Fremont Brewing Company's Imperial uh, Oatmeal Stout Dark Star. Uh, this is one of my very favorite breweries. They make a wonderful IPA. Every beer they make is really, really good. Um, and I wanted to go... I mean, I kind of feel like this, Marius, would probably be the most obvious pairing with Jägermeister. You would think that the flavor profiles, like the dark and creamy and sort of hoppy, sort of chocolate and espresso forward, like oatmeal stouts are really going to go well with Jäger. I'm really glad that uh, the Jäger paired so well with the different ones. I kind of feel like this is definitely a no-brainer and we know how this is going to end. When I picked the sour beer, I thought that... That is like eye-opening. But, you know, honestly, this is a very different style of beer than we did the last three. You know, I mean, I tried to do some eclectic stuff. Like, I tried to pick like a variety. You know, we did like the the Hazy IPA was the first one. And then we went to Anger Steam, which is going to be more of like a pale ale kind of style beer. You know, a little amber and sort of richer. And then we went into the sour territory. So now we're going to go really dark, you know, really dark and creamy. Um... But I can tell you right now that I know exactly how this is going to end. So there you go. I mean, it's like drinking coffee. It's like really dark and creamy. Uh, and the Jägermeister is going to fan. It's, it's going to be fantastic with this. Oh yeah. I mean, that's just no brainer. I mean, it's like espresso, chocolate. You get a little bit of hops. You know, kind of get that freshness of the beer, and then you've just got the. The Jägermeister, you know, you've got that like nice botanical cinnamon that just kind of plays out like right through it. It's really, really nice. Really great pairing. Uh, so there you have it, guys. That's uh, that's my deer and beer kind of flavor pairings. It's summertime right now. It's hot. A lot of people are going to be drinking beers this year. It's a little bit different of a summer than we've had, but uh, everyone nonetheless is going to be barbecuing their backyard and having some beers. And... Um, I think that if you guys picked up a little bit of Jägermeister and paired it with your beers, you guys would be very, very happy because it pairs really, really well. And I hope we proved that in this video. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'll see you guys on another time.